So today we will be making a soya chunks curry my friends. Real nice and molly here. Bringing you another real nice recipe. So we have here a pack of soya chunks. And this here makes for a good curry if you are not having meat. And fish and stuff like that. It is also a high source of protein as you can see here. And this soya chunks here can be used in many ways. You can add it to chow mein, fried rice, as if you would add meat just instead of the meat. But it also makes for a nice curry as well, which is what we're going to be doing here today. And for that we have one packet of the soya here, which is 10.5 ounces or 300 grams. We're going to be using 1.5 tablespoons of curry powder. 1 tablespoon of roasted ground jeera, 1 tablespoon of garam masala, 6 cloves of garlic, 3 stems of scallions, half an onion, and 2 weary weary pepper. So let's begin guys. Let's get started with this soya chunks curry here. So if you've never uh, cooked soya chunks before, this need to be soaked in 2 times the amount of water of soya that you have. And it needs to be soaked for 15 to 20 minutes after which you'll squeeze them out and proceed to use them like that. So this here is, we've measured this, 4 cups of chunks so we'll be using 8 cups of water to soak this and it has to be warm water they said according to the package. So we'll do that now and this here is a good source of protein if you're not eating meat and things like that. So we're going to add our 8 cups of water there. So that is 4. And this is the other 4 here now. So now we're going to leave this for 15 to 20 minutes. And then that will be ready for us to use after squeezing it out, the water out of it. So this is a good source of protein. Instead of having pumpkin seeds and broccoli but broccoli tastes great when it's prepared nice you know fried stir fried I love broccoli stir fried yeah so instead of having your pumpkin seeds I'm pretty sure after you see this here you prefer to have this here instead of your pumpkin seeds right so our chunks are soaking here guys and in the meanwhile we'll chop the seasonings here molly is We've already crushed the garlic here, scallions, so that's all chopped there, fresh, we have our garam masala, jeera, curry powder, so we're gonna wait for the soya to fully soak and then we'll get started guys. Stay tuned. Alright, so our, our soya chunks are soaked for the 20 minutes. So now Molly is going to squeeze it out here. So as you can see, they have gotten a bit larger there. They have soaked up some of the water. So now we're going to squeeze them out. And once these are cooked guys, they resemble meat. They look like meat. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze the rest out of this and then we're gonna continue. So I was just help squeezing these soya chunks as well. And they require a little pressure to squeeze the water out of it. So if you have unsteady hands and you need to get that shot of El Dorado, then you should take it, okay? I heard that's good for unsteady hands. <laughs> so Molly is mixing her curry paste here. The curry powder is jeera, the ground, the garam masala, and the crushed garlic. So 
and that's water. And this is how your curry paste is made. And you can also add the onions here as well, if you like. So that's it now. So we are ready to roll. So let's begin, guys. So we've heated up some vegetable coconut oil here, my friends. And Molly's going to add the curry paste here. So this curry paste needs to be cooked for about 2 minutes as usual. So after the 2 minutes here now Molly is going to add the chunks. And now she is going to bunge this as they say. Just like with any other curries. So right after adding your chunks there, you can add your salt to taste. So now we're gonna cover this and let it cook for a bit, let it bungee for a bit, but it's not going to be as long as meat or those kind of curries because this doesn't have any liquid to release. So soon we're going to add some water there to, uh, to, to cook this, okay? So like I said, it's not very long after we, we will have to add the water here now, probably about less than a minute or about a minute because there's no water releasing from here so we're gonna add the water now and before this burns so you see what I was talking about looks like meat right So good, so that's it. We'll cover this. I'll let it do its thing. I will see you soon. So it has been about 10 11 minutes for this chunks here. We're gonna check in here and see. So our water has dried out there. So we still have not added the scallions of it, so we're going to add a bit more water here. Got to add the scallions. Molly's going to taste for salt. So she's adding a bit more salt there. So that's it there now, we're just going to stir this here and let that cook for a little bit, let the water evaporate a bit and that'll be it. So we'll see you in a bit guys. Because of the texture of the soya chunks, right, so they'll, they'll uh, have a lot of liquid in there, they'll hold a lot of liquid, so when this is going to cool, it's going to get a lot drier than regular meat curry or, or, or whatever else. So this is right off the stove there now, and you see all that liquid there is gone. All this absorbs all the juices from there. This here is perfect now. And this is done guys. So that's it there guys. Soya chunks curry, granny style. And that's how easy it is to make this here. And as I said, this can go in place of your bunjal chicken 
for your dal and rice. You can have it with rice alone, however you like. If you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. Also, please remember to click the bell next to the subscribe button there, which will allow you to get notifications as soon as we post anything, so you don't miss anything. Share this video as well guys, and as always, thanks for watching, take care, bye.